this advanced Drew activity called the maze, we start with the flower in this center, and we start with the Drew in this bottom left corner. The job of the Drew is to make its way around the maze to eventually reach the flower. Let's first start by looking at the full solution. Looking at the main program, we can see that all the difficulty is going to be in creating the move method. The main program simply creates a Drew and keeps the Drew moving until the flower is found, and then it picks the flower. So the whole goal here is to try to figure out how to get the Drew to move around this maze to cover every single square. This problem might look extremely difficult, but we have one thing going for us on this particular maze. Notice that there are no loop structures in this maze. What we mean by that is as follows. Imagine if this particular square right here were green. We would have a loop here like this. That would make the maze far more difficult to solve. But if you look at this and eyeball this carefully, you can see that there are no such looping structures in this entire maze. We can solve it using a simple algorithm as follows. I want you to imagine that you are the Drew standing in the beginning position right here. Now imagine closing your eyes and putting your left hand out onto the wall and then following that wall all the way around the maze. While it might be hard to see initially, this particular strategy will get you to every square in the maze eventually. Let's take a look at what some pseudocode for this algorithm would look like. In the move method, what we want to do is we want to try to keep going to the left whenever we can. If we can't go to the left, we want to go forward. If we can't go forward, we want to try to go right. If none of these are possible, then we want simply to turn around. By implementing this algorithm using nested if statements inside this move method, we can solve this Drew problem. One thing we have not described in this pseudocode is how to stop when we reach the flower. That's something you're going to have to figure out for yourself. Remember that the key to solving this problem when developing the move method is to put the if statements inside one another.